Hi, brothers and sisters. This is Mary Hernandez um, with Genesis Kingdom. Shalom, shalom, and hopefully you're having an amazing day. Um, I had a, a vision from the Lord, and it showed me the Bible, and it said um, Micah. So I came on to Micah, and I'm going to read Micah on to you. So possibly maybe in two videos, possibly three. But a word from the Lord. Um, it's what I titled it. It said, <clears throat> The word of the Lord that came on to Micah of Morshareth during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, the king of Judah. The vision he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. It says, Hear all you people, all of you listening, earth and all who live in it that the sovereign Lord may bear witnesses against you, the Lord from the holy temple. It says, and then in little um, notes like that, um, in there, I don't know if you can see it, it says judgment, you know, and it says against Samaria and Jerusalem. It says, look, the Lord is coming from his dwelling place. He comes down and threats on the heights of the earth, the mountains that melt beneath him, the valleys that split apart like wax before the fire, like water rushing down a slope. And all this because of Jacob's transgressions, because of the sins of the people of Israel, which is Jacob's transgressions. It is not Samaria. What is Judah's high place? It is not Jerusalem. Therefore, I will make Samaria a heap of a rubble, a place for planting vineyards. I will pour her stones into the valley and I lay bare foundations. All her idols will be broken to pieces. All her temples gifts will be burned with fire. I will destroy her images. Since she gathered her gifts from the wages of the prostitute, as the wages of prostitutes, they will again be used. And then again, um, it has little parentheses in there. It says, weeping and mourning. But because of this, I will weep and wail. I will go about barefooted and naked. I will howl like a jackal and moan like an owl. For Samara's plague is incurable. It has spread to Judah. And it has um, reached the very gate of my people. Even to Jerusalem itself. Tell it now in Gath. Weep and not at all. But in Beth Ophrah, roll in the dust and pass by the naked and in shame. You who live in Sapphire, and you who live in Sanan, it says, it will come out, Beth Ezel is in the morning. It says, and the morning, and it says, and it is no longer protects you. And those who live in Maroth, it says, rather in pain, whether in pain, Waiting for relief because a disaster has come from the Lord. Even to the gate of Jerusalem. You will live in Lachish and harness fast and horses to the chariots. You who are and where are in sins of daughter of Zion began. For the transgressions of Israel were found in you. Therefore, you will give parting gifts. The Moshereth. Gath. And the town of Echisib will prove the, this is will prove deceptive to the kings of Israel. I bring a conqueror against you who live in Massachusetts. It says the nobles of Israel and they flee from Adalam. Shave your head in mourning and the children in whom you delight. Make yourself as bald as the vulture for you will go from it says, from they will go from you into exile. Exile means hell. Micah 2, human plans and God's plans. Okay. Woe to you, those who plan iniquity, to those who plot evil on their beds. At morning light, they will carry it out because in their power, it's in, it's in their power to do it. They covet the fields and cease from them. The houses take them. And they defraud people from their homes. They rob them in their inheritance. They rob them from their inheritance. 
Therefore, the Lord says, I am planning disaster against this people from which you cannot save yourself, that you will no longer walk proudly, for it will be the time of calamity. It is that day of people that ridicule you. They will be, they will taunt you with a mournful song. We're utterly ruined. My people's possession is divided up. He will take it from me and assign our fields to the traitors. Therefore, you will have no one in the assembly of the Lord to divide the land by lot. False prophets. Do not prophesy. Their prophets say, do not prophesy about these things. Disgrace will overtake us. Your descendants of Jacob, should, it is to be said, does the Lord become impatient? Does he do such things? Do not the words of good is to the one who weighs are upright? Lately, my people have risen up like an enemy. You strip off the rich robe and from those who pass by without care, like man returning from battle, from their pleasant homes. Take away my blessing from their children forever and get up and go away. For this is not your resting place. Because it is defiled, it is ruined beyond all remedy. If a liar deceiver comes and says, I will prophesy for you are plenty of wine and beer, and it would be just as a prophet for this people. Deliverance promised. I will surely gather all you, Jacob, and I will surely bring together the raiment of Israel. I will bring them together like the sheep in a pen, like a flock in a pasture, the place I will throng with people, and one who breaks open the way that it will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. The king will pass through before them. The Lord is at their head. Leaders and prophets rebuked. And this is Micah 3. Listen, you leaders of Jacob, you, you rulers of Israel. Should you not embrace justice? You who hate good but love evil? Who you tear the skins from my people and the flesh from their bones? Who eat my people's flesh and strip off their skin and break their bones in pieces? Who chop them up like meat for a pan, like flesh for the pot? Then will well, then will cry out to the Lord, and he will not answer them. And at the time he will hide his face from them because of the evil that they have done. This is what the Lord says. As the prophets who lead my people astray. They proclaim peace, but they have something to eat. But prepare the wage of war against anyone who refuses to feed them. Therefore, night will come over you without vision and darkness without divination. The sun will set up for the prophets and the day will go dark for them. The seers will be ashamed of the diviner's disgrace that they will all cover their faces because there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power. Mom, with the spirit of the Lord is with the justice and might. To declare to Jacob with his transgression is Israel in his sin. Hear this, you leaders of Jacob, you rulers of Israel, who despise justice and discomfort all and distort, sorry, and distort all that is right, who built Zion with bloodshed, and Jerusalem with wickedness. Her leaders judge for a bribe, her priests teaches for a prize, and her prophets tell fortunes for money. Yet they look at the Lord and support and say, That is the Lord among us. No disaster will come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble and the temple of the hill mound overthrown with thickets. Micah 4, the mountain of the Lord. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord temple will be established of the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and the people will stream of it. Many nations will come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountains of the Lord, to the temple of God of Jacob, that he will teach us of the ways, and so that he may walk in his path, and the law will go out from Zion. The word of the Lord from Jerusalem.
that he will judge between many peoples. He will settle disputes from strong nations far from wide. They will beat their swords and with plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. Nations will not take up the sword against nations, nor will they train the war anymore. Everyone will sit under their own vine, under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid. For the Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods. And we will walk in the name of the Lord, our God forever and ever. The Lord's plan. In the day, declares the Lord, I would gather the lame and I will assemble the exiles and those that I have brought to grief. I will make the lame and my raiment, those driven away in strong nation. The Lord will rule over them in Mount Zion. From the day and forever, as you, as for you, watchtowers of the flock, stronghold of the daughter Zion, the former dominion will be restored to you. Kingship will come onto the daughter of Jerusalem. Why do you know? Why do you not cry out loud? Have you no king? Have your rulers perish? That pain that seizes you like of a woman in labor? It says, rather in agony, daughter Zion, like a woman in labor, for now you must leave the city to camp and open fill. You will go to Babylon and they will be, and they will be rescued and the Lord will redeem you out of the hand of your enemies. But now many nations are gathered against you. They say, let go and defile. Let our eyes gloat over Zion. But they do not know the thoughts of the Lord. Don't they understand his plan? That he has gathered them like sheep into the threshing floor. Rise and thresh, daughter Zion. For I will give you horns of iron. And I will give you the hubs of a browns. And you will break the pieces many nations. And you will devote the ill gotten gains of the, to the Lord. The wealth of the Lord of all the earth. Micah 5. A promise a ruler from Bethlehem. Marshal you troops now, city of troops, for a sage is laid against us, that they will strike Israel and the ruler of cheek with the rod. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrath, if I pronounce that right, um, it is E P H R A T H A H. Though you were small among the clans of Judah, and odd of your will, come for me. One who will rule over Israel, who origins are from the old and the agents of time. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she is in labor and bears a son. The rest of her brothers will return. Join the Israelites and he will stand in the shepherd of the flock. In strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the name of the Lord, the God, they will live securely for his greatness and reach the ends of the earth. He will be our peace when the Assyrians invade our land and march through our fortress, that we will rise against them seven shepherds, eight commanders, and who will, roll, who will rule over the land of Assyrians with the sword the land of Nimrod, with the drawn sword. He will deliver us from the Isarians, and they will invade our land and march across our borders. The raiment of Jacob will be in the midst, in the midst of many people, like the dew from the Lord, like showers of the grass, which do not wait for anyone. Or depend on a man, the raiment of Jacob will be among the nations, in the midst of many people, like a lion among the beasts of the forest, like a young lion among the flocks of the sheep, which moles and mangles as it goes. And no one can rescue your hand and will be lifted up in triumph over your enemies, and you fools will be destroyed, meaning the enemy. In that day, declares the Lord, I will destroy your horses from among you, Demolish, demolish your chariots. 
I will destroy the cities of your land, and I will tear down all your strongholds. I will destroy your witchcraft, and you will no longer cast spells. I will destroy your idols and your scared stones from among you. You will no longer bow down to the work of your hands. I will uproot you. Among you, you Asheroth pools, with a demolish of your city. When I demolish your cities, I will take vengeance and anger and the wrath on the nations that have not obeyed me. Micah 6. The Lord sees against Israel. Listen to what the Lord says. Stand up, plead my cause before the mountains. Lift up the hills and hear what you have to say. Hear you mountains, the Lord's accusation. Listen to your everlasting foundation of the earth. For the Lord has ceased against his people. He has lodged in and charged against Israel. My people, what have I done to you? How have you burdened? It says, how have I burdened you? Answer me. I brought you up out of Egypt and redeem you from the land of the slavery. I sent Moses to lead you out, and Aaron and Miram, my people, remember what black the king of Moab plotted, and what Blam son of Bora answered. Remember your journey with the shipment, with the shit Tim to Gilgal, and you may know the righteous acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord? And bow down before an exalted God. Shall I come before him with burnt offerings? With cows of a year old? Or with the, it says, will the Lord be pleased with the thousands of rams? With ten thousand rivers of olive oil? Shall I offer my firstborn to my transgressions? My fruit, my body, my sin of my soul? He has shown you, O mortals, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? And act justly to love and mercy, to walk humbly with your God. And this also he's speaking to the whole world and the whole nations and to his children. Israel guilt and punishment. Listen, the Lord is calling the city to fear your name. To fear your name is wisdom. Heed the rod of one who has appointed it. I am still to forget your ill gotten treasures, you wicked house. The short of ephod, which is a curse. Shall I acquit somebody for dishonest scales? With a bag of false weights? You rich people are violent. You inhabitants of liars and their tongues speak deceitfully. Therefore, I begun to destroy you. To ruin you because of your sins. You will eat but not be satisfied. Your stomach will still be empty. You will store up and save. You will store up and save nothing. Because what you save will give, will give it to the sword. You will plant but it will not harvest. You will press the olives but not use the oil. You will crush the grapes but not drink the wine. You have Observe the statues of the Amari and all the practice of Ahab's house. You will follow their traditions. Therefore, I give you over to the ruin. You people to desertion. You will bear a scorn of nations. Micah 7. Israel's misery. What misery is mine? I am like the one who gathers summer fruit and gleaning of the vineyards. There is no clusters of grapes to eat, none of the early figs that I crave. The faithful have been swept from the land. Not one upright person remains. Everyone lies and wait in the shed of blood. They hunt each other with nets. Both hands are skilled doing evil. The ruler demands gifts. The judges sets bribes. The powerful dictate what they desire. They conspire together and best of them is like the briber. The most upright worst is the thorn hedge that the day that God visits you as he comes. 
the day of your watchmen sound the alarm. Now is time of your conf of your confusion. Do not trust it. Do not trust a neighbor. Do not put confidence in a friend. Even with the woman that lies in your embrace, guard the words of your lips. For sons are dishonored in his father. A daughter rises up against his mother. A daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man of enemies are members of his own household. But as for me, I watch and hope in the Lord. For the Lord, I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. He will hear me. Israel will rise. Do not gloat over me, my enemies. Though I have fallen, I will rise. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light because I have sinned against him. I will bear the Lord's wrath until he pleads my case and upholds my cause. He will bring me out into the light. I will see his righteousness. And then my enemies will see it and I will cover and I will be covered and I will be covered with shame. She said to me, where is the Lord your God? My eyes will see her downfall, but even now she will be trampled under food like the mare in the streets. The day for building is your walls that will come. The day will be extended your boundaries in the day of the people. They will come to you. From Isaiah, from the cities of Egypt, even the Egypts of the Ephorites are enemies, just so you'll know. From the sea to sea and from the mountains to mountains and the enemies of this world too. Open your eyes. The earth will become a desolate because of the inhabitants as a result for their deeds. Prayer and praise. Shepherd your people with your staff like a flock of your inheritance, which lives by itself in the forest. In fertile pasture lands, let them feed in Bashan and Gilead. And in the days long ago, as in the days when you came out of Egypt, I will show them my wonders. Nations will see and be ashamed, deprived from all the power that they will put in their hands. Over their mouth, their ears will become death. They will lick the dust like a snake, like creatures that crawl on the ground. They will come trembling out of their dens. They will turn in fear to the Lord our God and will be afraid of you. Who is God like you? Who pardons sin and forgives transgressions? Who is the raiment of the inheritance? Who do not stay angry forever, but delights and show mercies again? Have compassion on us. You will thread our sins under the food and hurl over the inquities and deaths and see that you will be faithful to Jacob and show love to Abraham and pledge the oath to our ancestors in days long ago. You know, um, if you want to go back and read Micah and do a little bit more research, as the time has gone by and the world has been able even to see what we have been going through as chosen vessels of our father. And for those that we serve him faithfully and that, yes, we started off wrong. I'm not saying that we did it with sin. And he opened my eyes and he woke me up and he woke me up into the darkness that's right in front in plain sight. And he's doing that awakening, not to, to his children, but to this world as well. You know, and this is not to scare you. He says he wants you to open your eyes. Evil has already know who they serve. They already made, they already sealed their faith. We're not talking about as far as people around here, people that have been in sin or even in darkness from the richest to the poorest. And he's telling you what to do because we are in the end times. All his sin is repent and shun evil. Have no other idols, but love the only true God, the maker of heaven and earth. And that is our father, Jehovah, and his son, King Jesus. And we're his children. We're his chosen vessels. You know, and this, if I hadn't went through what I hadn't went through, I wouldn't be able to sit here and be a testimony in the darkness that is out there. In that darkness that tries to pull you back in what you used to be. They already seal their faith. Don't be that one that does it for your family. It's not to lay, repent, shun evil. Shun evil. You know, 
the only ones that are going to stay behind is the one that decided to stay behind because of unbelief or because they they wanted to stay in sin. Only God knows. God knows your heart. He knew my heart, you know, but he had healed me, you know. Um, we're, for us that we're chosen vessels, they use witchcraft and they send like demonic attacks, you know, and, and it's a spiritual warfare that we do. You know, so I always bind them and I pray for all, for all children, even the believers, you know, and I pray for the people that are in darkness to come to his light and the darkness means that we're still in sin, you know, and he's just asking you and how to get back into the light, how to get in a covet back with our father, Jehovah, not in a covet with darkness, you know, and he's telling you how to do it and the way to do it. And you will be on that boat and you will see the difference He's removing the darkness. He's removing the, the wickedness and he's exposing them so you can see what you idolize. It's not everything that it seems and everything that, you know, even, um, his, some of his children that were mistaken and got in a covet with the marriage with the harlots that, with that glitter wasn't all that much glitter. All of it was a plan only to prevent God's plan, but everything had to take place. God had to allow it because how are we going to save you? How is he going to save us if we weren't paying attention to what was right around us that was dragging us down, that's dragging you down, that's dragging this world down? Because they know their end is coming. And woe to the ones that stay behind because he is waiting. He is waiting in his anger because he knows his end is done. So the ones that stay behind, trust me, even his own that idolize him and they decided to serve darkness, you're going to be his first target. Because he only used you. He used you to go ahead and go against his children. Why you think you're going to have it good? Honey, no, it's not. You know, so this is just a wake up call. You know, um, I had picked another topic, but the, the live vision that he showed me was Micah. You know, so I went and I read it a little and I understood what he was trying to say. So I said, do I pray what, do I pray what I had picked for today to deliver a message to you guys? Or do I pray, um, Micah and the Holy Spirit said, you know, Micah, you know, so as you see what it says, and it's just to let you guys know that we are at the end times, you know, and I thank him every day for not giving up on me. I thank him every day for changing my life, for giving me an, oppor an opportunity and I'm running with it. Oh, I don't care if I'm being made fun of. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I serve the true living God, and that is our Father Jehovah and my King Jesus, and that's who I serve. And then I'm here to serve you guys for his heavenly purpose, for the new heaven, the new earth, and welcome, welcome. You know, continue doing, um, was it podcast, whatever it is that he put you on a mission, and just know that keep going, and it's going to be a spiritual warfare. You know, people might show up out of anywhere, let's go drink, let's go do this. Just don't do it. You know, those are things in the world, in the world that wants to drag you into darkness. You know, the Ten Commandments and do what you have. Come and enjoy that time with your family. Pray over your family when you get home. You know what I'm saying? Don't be out there in the world because that's the way to exile hell because that's where it's going to be. It's going to be hell on that dementia where people that did not decide to go on in the next move. Um, so I just want to say you have an amazing, amazing Friday, I believe, um, and know that God loves you and continue on that path in sobriety and sobriety means in everything and shun evil and continue, but Jesus loves you. I love you with the love of the Lord and, um, continue fighting that spiritual warfare. And that's what I fight every day for everybody and myself still the enemies. He does that. And, and it tells you in there, we don't wish anybody dead. But the spiritual realm, yes. <laughs> Prayer and all that sends them back to the pit of hell. But Jesus, love you too, baby. Um, you're good. I love you. Um, God be with you, baby. And just know that God loves you. I love you with the love of the Lord. And just continue on that journey. Let's give hell hell. And we're saving souls by bringing him back. Get baptized in the name of Jesus. That Jesus loves you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.